Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome back. I am Davros, and I am a Whovian, and it is another Who review, and today I'm reviewing... Well, yes, I'm reviewing Gridlock. So, Gridlock, a 2007 10th Doctor adventure from Series 3, and what I like to call the conclusion to either the Bow Trilogy or the Year 5 Billion Trilogy. Yeah, because this is the third episode where the Doctor goes to the Year 5 Billion. Uh, in End of the World, he went to the Year 5 Billion, where the world ended. Then in uh, New Earth, he went to 5 Billion and 23. But it was New Earth in New New York. Oh, New 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 York. And he goes back to that New New York again. Oh, this time he discovers that everyone's stuck in a gridlock. And, you know, what is causing that to happen? Well, the Doctor makes the discovery that people were selling moods that developed into some rage outbreak virus and people that were in the gridlock were kept safe and using their life force to keep that gridlock in control and everything was the face of Bo. Yes. This is of course the episode where the face of Bo comes in again and this time he is you know, he has his great secret to tell the doctor which of course is you are not alone which came into the conclusion of series 3. No, Y N, Y A N A, Yana, and that. Yes. Um, so yeah, we go to the year five billion fifty three, and the Doctor discovers all that. But of course, he then sees that there is no viral outbreak anymore because it's died down, and uh, there's um, and everyone can be free again and repopulate New New York. So. Um, Let's get on to the likes and the dislikes about this. First of all, I liked the characters we had. We had, you know, appearances from the, no the Nora Critchlow, who later became Annie in Being Human. We also had Ira O'Hanlon, who was known for Father Doodle in Father Ted, or George Sunday in My Hero, uh, who was a cat person in this. Uh, we also had the return of a classic monster, the Macra, which appeared back in 1966, a crab-like monster. You know, this time the Macra were feeding off the fumes of, of the gridlock that everyone was stuck in. Um, I also liked this story, and, and that... I just liked this episode. It was a good episode. It was episode 3, series 3. And, you know, I liked the part where the Doctor's jumping from car to car, and, <coughs> excuse me, bumping into, like, different cultures and different people and that. Uh, I like that. I also uh, you know, liked the story with uh, the face of Bo. Yeah, now, this episode was good, but it was a sad episode as well, because we had a sad farewell to the face of Bo, who was millions, probably billions of years old. And he was originally meant to die in New Earth, but uh, Russell T. Davis thought, nah, let's let's carry him on to this one. Let's make some sort of a trilogy out of it. And yeah, this was quite sad. I mean, I'll be honest, I actually did feel some sadness too for a big, you know, like a animatronic puppet. But yeah, it was a sad moment for the show, you know, and I really felt sad. Not only that, but... Murray Gold's music, you know, his composure and that was just spot on. I love the music played in this episode. It's just, you know, in fact, out of all the soundtracks, I think Series 3 is probably one of my favourite soundtracks because, you know, it's, um, you know, I just like the music played. And Murray Gold, you know, I, I know, I don't bring him up enough, but he has done brilliant music and soundtrack music for the show since its revival and you know, in this he gets it spot on especially with that track bow i find it sad yet beautiful at the same time yeah i get such great mixed emotions in that 
and it is quite a sad thing when we see the face of Bogo. But when we got that reveal in the series 3 finale, Last of the Time Lords, when Captain Jack turned out to be the face of Bo, I, I went, no. No, 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 I was just so gobsmacked. I had to rewind that and watch, the, hear that again to make sure I heard it right. Uh, and that. So yeah, that's the face of Bo. Um, my dislikes. I don't think I really have anything to dislike about this episode. I mean, it was brilliant. It was a good episode, especially in this. The Doctor, well, Martha finally gets the Doctor to open up to her. You know, he opens up to her, telling her that he is the last of the Time Lords and that, you know, he was at war with a race called the Daleks. Yeah. It's a sad yet good episode at the same time, and that's what I loved about this episode. And that's why I have nothing to dislike about this one. Because it is so brilliantly done, and that. That's a good episode right there. So, um, now for my final thoughts and ratings. I thought this episode was done brilliantly. The soundtrack was everything. I really loved this one. And, um, and I, you know, it's definitely one of my favourite episodes from Series 3. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Doctor Who Gridlock, Joe you know what? I'm giving it a 5 out of 5, because I really did enjoy this one. 5 out of 5. For Gridlock. So, that has been my Who review on Gridlock. Uh, have you seen this episode? Let me know what you think to it down below in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out. And until next time, we'll be alive.